Periodic Trends the Diagonal Relationship In this video, we'll explain why atoms going diagonally down and to the right tend to have similar properties. We won't actually be introducing any new periodic trends, just combining the ones that we already have and thinking about it a bit. The diagonal relationship describes the observation that elements on the diagonal, shown in these pictures, such as here and here, and really any of these, have similar properties. Let's think about why this trend exists. First, let's look at the atomic radius trend. Since the atomic radius gets bigger as you move down the periodic table, and bigger as you go to the left on the periodic table, as you go down and to the right, the values have to stay relatively similar because one trend says that it's getting bigger, and one trend says that it's getting smaller, leaving the diagonal to be about the same. The same is going to be true for ionization energy. As we go down the periodic table, the energy gets smaller. But as you go to the right on the periodic table, the energy gets bigger. And so as you go down and to the right, the trend says that it's getting both bigger and smaller, and the two basically cancel each other out to stay relatively similar. Because the atoms end up with pretty similar values for the two properties that we've list talked about, and therefore the rest of the properties we talked about in previous videos, they usually end up having pretty similar properties in general. There won't really be any ranking questions for this relationship like the others, but you should be able to explain why this exists. We can now explain why atoms going diagonally down and to the right have similar properties.